and action. <laughs> Today, we are looking at how to time lapse with your GoPro HD Hero or HD Hero 2 camera. Let's look at the setup for the GoPro Hero 1. Turn the camera on and then continue pressing the power mode button until you get to the settings mode. Press the shutter button to select and then keep pressing the power mode button until you get to the time-lapse photo interval settings shown here with the letter P followed by a number. You can scroll through the options using the shutter button. The Hero 1 camera can take photos every 1, 2, 5, 10, 30 or 60 seconds. For this demonstration I'll choose photo every 1 second. Continue through the menu using the power mode button until you get to escape. Select that to exit the menu. Then use the mode button to change the camera to time-lapse mode. It's the flashing camera icon. You can then press the shutter button to start taking time-lapse photos. The process with the GoPro Hero 2 is quite similar, except that the new picture icons are much more obvious. The settings menu is represented by a spanner icon. The GoPro Hero 2 also allows for photos every half a second. If you are using the photo every half a second setting, GoPro recommends that a Class 10 SD memory card be used. Again, for this demonstration, I will select the photo every one second setting. Continue on until you can exit the settings menu. Then, cycle through the camera modes until you get to the time-lapse mode. It's the camera clock icon. Press the shutter select button to commence taking time-lapse photos. Note that the GoPro Hero 2 counts photos taken in increments of 10. When you're on location, set your GoPro camera up on a sturdy tripod. It's important that there is absolutely no movement of the camera between photos. Point the camera at your subject and double check your settings. It can be hard to see the front LCD screen in bright sunlight. So using the GoPro LCD backpack may be beneficial at this point. When you are satisfied that your settings are correct, start taking your photos. Then it's time to wait. Go for a walk, read a book, or just enjoy your surroundings and be patient. When you get home, hook your GoPro camera or cameras up to your computer to transfer the photos across. It is good practice to maintain a strict method of file management. I always create a master folder for the project that I am working on. Then I create subfolders for each camera that I have used. This avoids confusion and conflicting file names. I cut and paste the complete GoPro folders with the photos in them.
Next, open up your editing program. I use Sony Vegas Movie Studio, but most programs work in a similar way. Go to Project and Import Media. Select the folder that you copied your GoPro photos to and hold down the control button while left clicking the first photo in the folder. To select all the remaining photos, press Ctrl plus A. You could then click open to import all these individual photos. But a good trick in Vegas is to tick this option, open still image sequence. That allows you to import your photos as a single video file, which makes everything a lot easier. Click OK twice and just ignore that error message. Left click and drag the sequence down to your timeline. Repeat this for the rest of the photos. You'll want your time lapse to be in widescreen, so right click on the sequence file and select properties. Deselect maintain aspect ratio and click OK. Repeat for all sequences. That's looking good already, but at this point, you can trim the start and finish of the clips if desired, or you can make any adjustments you wish, like colour correction, brightness, contrast, etc. When you're ready, you can render your time lapse. Go to Project, Render As. I use a custom template for YouTube. Let's look at the settings. I use high definition and a frame rate of 25 frames per second. Being in Australia, I use PAL, so that matches my video settings. I use a bit rate of 8 megabits per second which is the preferred rate by YouTube. Audio should be set to 256 kilobytes per second. In system, I like to save as an MP4 file. In project, video rendering quality should be set to best. You can then render your video. How long this takes will depend on your computer. So there you have it, how to make time-lapse videos with your GoPro Hero 1 or GoPro Hero 2 cameras, plus Sony Vegas Movie Studio. This is Bryn, thanks for watching.